what? We've been evicted. No one's slept in here in about 20 years. This used to be my bed. It probably won't survive being jumped on. Do I seem like the kind of person who might jump on a bed? A little. <laughs> One of the important aspects was to show the difference, not only of it being a gender issue, but also a class issue. Lydia works in the factory. She's never had the benefit of an education. And the doctor is somebody that's, you know, obviously come from an upper middle class background. Is that a honeycomb? Do you like bees? There are hives in your garden. Would you like to see them? You should tell the bees your secrets. Then they don't fly away. My mum is sad. The idea of them having a love affair as two women, the idea of actually having a love affair with your housekeeper if you're the doctor of the town, that is where the town comes in and imposes their restrictions and their um, intolerance. <laughs> He has to understand that he must keep quiet. It's a coming of age story. It's actually a coming of age story for all the characters. It's a coming of age story for the boy who sort of grows up, becomes a, you know, uh, more of a grown up. Um, it's a coming of age of the two women, uh, their kind of sexual awakening. It's a coming of age of the town where they finally accept somebody that they had rejected before through intolerance. And the magic realism element or it's really, I don't think of it so much as magic realism, more as a extension of the boy's belief and faith that there is something a little bit more otherworldly going on. And that is, you know, in a way, how I see the bees. It's a small town, Jane. I saw them, Mum and Dr. Markham. Jesus. We should have thought about what might happen. If you come back here, yeah, I'll call the police. The university tell me again. I do think of filmmakers as observers and artists, you know, have the ability to be able to represent reality in a different way. Be a man. I want this.